Hello. In the second video on BIOS Tweaks, we are going to show you how to enable Precision Boost Overdrive, or PBO for short. In theory, PBO allows the user to stretch the factory limits in regards to three parameters, temperature, power, and current. While these changes won't allow the CPU to have a higher boosted frequency, in theory, it's supposed to allow the CPU to run at its current boosted frequencies for a longer period of time. I found it to be very impactful on performance. Please stay tuned to see the results. Today, we're going to see how Precision Boost Overdrive affects performance. As a quick recap, the system I am using is an AMD-based Ryzen 5600X system. I'm using an ASUS ROG Strix B550i motherboard. In addition, I have 32 gigabytes of G-Skill RAM running at 3600 megahertz. There are two different ways that you can adjust PBO. You can make adjustments in the advanced section under AMD overclocking. Let me go back. So if you go to the advanced section and go down to AMD overclocking, you're asked to accept. And then there's the precision boost overdrive section there. It was auto before and I changed it to enabled. Oops. You can also change it in the AI Tweaker section. Once you're in there, again, <clears throat> in this one you have just a Precision Boost Overdrive heading, and then you can come down, and again on Precision Boost Overdrive, it's changed from Auto to Enabled. Now one of the things that I've noticed on here, and I haven't tested it, is that you can change it in one, and it doesn't necessarily change in the other. So if I change it in Advanced, and it doesn't show up as changed in AI Tweaker, does it still work, and vice versa? I'm not sure. I just made sure that I enabled them in both locations so I knew I wouldn't have an issue. After we've experimented with a couple of other BIOS adjustments, I will be coming back to this for a deeper dive to see how much performance gain we can really squeeze out of the system. In the meantime, if you would like to know more about PBO, I'm going to link a couple of videos one by Gamers Nexus, who I've referenced before. They do a really nice job in explaining PBO and how it works. And a second video I found that does an amazing job in not only setting up PBO, but also demonstrating how the general process for overclocking works. Check them out. With PBO enabled, I ran through the same set of tests that I've used previously. The first one is Civilization VI using the Gathering Storm AI benchmark. Next one is 3D Mark using the Time Spy benchmark. Next up is uh, the Blender benchmark using both the BMW and Fishy Cat benchmarks. And I have to say, I still like saying Fishy Cat. Lastly, I'm using Puget Systems benchmark for Adobe Premiere Pro. More information on my methodology is on my website, pcbytes.net. That's P-C-B-Y-T-E-S dot net. The testing was done with DOCP enabled. My plan is to keep adding these tweaks on top of each other as long as there continues to be an improvement. Was there an improvement? There sure was. Here are the results. While Civ 6 saw a modest improvement the biggest improvement came from 3D Mark. The benchmark is almost 8% faster than our base testing system and over 5% faster than with uh, just DOCP enabled. Blender saw a significant improvement as the poorer DOCP enabled performance was offset by the improvement using Precision Boost Overdrive. Basically a 5% improvement over the base system and over a 7% improvement over the DOCP-enabled system. 
Lastly, we also see marked improvement with the Premier Pro benchmark. After the DOCP enabling only added a small, about 1.5% increase in performance, PBO provided a 4.5% improvement in performance over our base system. All in all, very good results. I have to say, this is pretty cool. I have never tinkered with my systems before, and to be able to squeeze out little performance improvements from each of these little tweaks and changes is really amazing. As I mentioned, I'll be going back and uh, taking a deeper dive into Precision Boost Overdrive to see if I can adjust the individual PBO limits and maybe play around with the Curve Optimizer, see if I can squeeze out a little bit more performance. But before that, we're going to try a couple of other tweaks. Next up is going to be APE or ASUS Performance Enhancement. If you're finding these videos useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.